make sense of this visual proof, we first need to see that the number n squared, which is typically represented by a square array, can be decomposed into two triangular arrays with bases differing by 1. And these arrays can be morphed into arrays of triangles that fit together like this to form a triangular tiling of an equilateral triangle by equilateral triangles. So each square can be visualized this way. Starting with this square of a multiple of 3, let's say 3k, we can consider the trapezoid tile in the lower left with bases 2k and k. Three copies of this trapezoid tile can be used to cover the entire triangle in this way. So that 3k squared is three times the size of the trapezoid, but the trapezoid is a difference of two triangular tilings, so it contains 2k squared minus k squared triangles. Next, start with a square of a number that is one less than a multiple of three, say 3k minus one. Again, we consider the trapezoid tile in the lower left, this time with bases 2k minus one and k minus one. Using three copies of this tile this time covers all but one of the small triangles in the tiling. Therefore, the quantity 3k minus one squared is equal to one plus three times the quantity 2k minus one squared minus k minus one squared, as the trapezoid is again the difference of two squares. Finally, if we start with a square of a number one more than a multiple of three, say 3k plus one, then we can again use three copies of a trapezoid tile, but this time the bases are 2k plus one and k plus one. And again, these cover the entire triangle except for one middle triangle. Therefore, we conclude that 3k plus one squared is one plus three times the quantity 2k plus one squared minus k plus one squared, as again, the trapezoid covers a difference of squares. Therefore, we've seen that n squared is congruent to zero mod three if n is congruent to zero mod three, and n squared is congruent to one mod three if n is not congruent to zero mod three. Since every number is either a multiple of three, one more than a multiple of three, or one less than a multiple of three, we've seen that every square is congruent to zero or one mod three.